Hello guys, welcome to Storytime with Miss Lockett, the founder of Teacher Fashion on Lockett. Tonight, you guys are in for a special treat. I will be reading for you guys one of my favorite, favorite, favorite stories. And it is entitled, The Gingerbread Man. Are you guys ready to jump on in? Well, let's go. <laughs> Gingerbread man. This is the front of the book. This is the back of the book. And this is the spine of the book. This is what holds the pages together. And this story is written by Estelle Court. Once upon a time, an old couple was baking gingerbread. They mix flour and butter, molasses, sugar, and eggs, and cut some of the mixture into the shape of a little man. They pop currants where his eyes and nose should be, and made a cheeky smile out of sugar icing. Then the old lady put them in the oven to bake. That smelled delicious, said the old man to his wife a little later. Yes, she agreed. I can't wait to taste it. All of a sudden, there was a tiny banging noise from the oven. What's that? Asked the old man. Before they could even open the door, out burst the gingerbread man. Ouch, he shouted. It's much too hot in there. Wait, called the old woman. We're going to eat you later. No way, he laughed. Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. And he leaped straight through the window. <laughs> in the yard, a chicken was pecking in the dirt when the gingerbread man landed in front of her. Come here, little man, clucked the chicken. I love gingerbread. The old man and woman came rushing out the kitchen. Stop that gingerbread man, they shouted. I don't think so, replied the gingerbread man. Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. And then he bounced straight over the fence. <laughs> the gingerbread man is really, really fast. As the gingerbread man came dashing along the path, closely followed by the old lady, the old man, and the chicken, he was spotted by a dog out for a walk. Wait for me, barked the dog. I love the smell of gingerbread. No chance, called back the gingerbread man. You won't get close. Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm a gingerbread man. And then he disappeared into the bushes. The gingerbread man ran as fast as lightning through the bushes closely followed by the old lady, the old man, the chicken, and the dog, and into a meadow where a cow was grazing. You look lovely, she drooled. Come a little closer. Not a chance, called the gingerbread man. You're much too slow. Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. grazing in the next field when the gingerbread man came rushing by closely followed by the old lady the old man the chicken the dog 
and the cow. Great. Nay, the horse. I love chases. You're joking, jeered the gingerbread man. You'll never catch me. Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. The gingerbread man ran and ran. He ran across meadows and fields. He jumped fences, bushes, and streams. He even had time to sit on a branch and tease everyone and everything chasing him. Slow catches, he shouted. Run and run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. The gingerbread man came to a river. Oh no, he groaned. I can't swim. I'll get all soggy. Just at that moment, a fox came along. Hello, said the fox. Are you lost? No, said the gingerbread man, but I do need to cross that river quite quickly. The fox looked at the chasing figures in the distance. I am a good swimmer, he suggested. Just jump on my tail and I will take you across. So the gingerbread man jumped onto the fox's tail and they wade in the river. As they reached the middle of the river, the gingerbread man felt his toes getting down and soggy. Mr. Fox, he yelled, my feet are getting wet. Don't worry, replied the fox with a clever grin. Jump on my back and you will keep perfectly dry. The gingerbread man did as he was told, but as soon his knees began to crumble in the wet. It's no good, he called to the fox. I'm still getting wet. The fox grinned even more. The driest place I have, he said, is right here on the tip of my nose. Hurry! So the gingerbread man jumped as far as he could right onto the fox's nose. He turned to look at the crowd gathered on the riverbank. I'm the gingerbread man, he yelled out. You won't ever catch me, but I will. Snap the fox. The gingerbread man straight off his nose and into his mouth. Everyone turned for home, hungry after all the running they had done. Never mind, said the old man. We still got some more gingerbread mixture left. Thank goodness, said the old woman. But let's make something slower this time. How about a gingerbread snail? Be sure to hit the subscribe button and also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at Teacher Fashion on Lock underscore ETC.